Ah, oh, it's strong. It's so strong. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking inspiration from Jesus Christ himself by turning vodka into gin. Not quite the same as water into wine. In fact, I think water into wine is a way better idea, but you know, it'll do. Now I have absolutely no idea whether this little kit is actually going to work, but I have done a little bit of research online and it is possible to turn vodka into gin, I think. It's a, it's a weird one. I'm not a chemist. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So just to let you know that I'm not wearing these glasses ironically for fashion or anything like that. I need them to see now. I'm getting to that age where my body's just falling apart. Apparently I have astigmatism and a right eye that just doesn't want to pull its weight. But hopefully the lights aren't reflecting too much and it's not too distracting. Okay, so this is the little kit that I bought on Amazon and it's another long title, so strap yourself in. So it's Sandy Leaf Farm Ultimate gins makers kit make 10 big bottles of your own gin flavors including classic citrus chocolate orange pink christmas and more actually that wasn't too bad of a title and it was 24.99 but it's got some pictures here and the ingredients that are supposed to turn the vodka into gin unfortunately the kit doesn't come with vodka i had to buy the vodka separately it says make 10 bottles of your own botanical infused gin they apparently spent months obsessively testing the spice blends and recipes to make the whole experience as easy and tasty as possible. Love easy. Can't get enough of it. I need 700 mils of vodka. Are these 700 mils? These are only 350 mils. I'll have to change the recipe around because I've got smaller bottles of vodka. They'll be alright. So they're the two guys that have made this kit apparently. These are the co-founders, Scott and Gabriel. And is it just me or do you think they'd make a really cute couple? I'm just putting it out there. I think they'd make a really cute couple. And they're describing their product in three words by saying unique, creative, and simple. I'm here for this. I hope this works. I'll be very disappointed if it doesn't. Let's have a look at some reviews. Ah, oh, so it's actually got really, really good reviews. It's got 4.6 out of 5, a lot of 5-star reviews, and just generally a lot of reviews. So a lot of people have bought this. Nick's given it 5 stars and said, a bit of fun that gets you really nice gin. But underneath, we've got Prozy, who's put, does this actually work? Question mark. So they've put, I love my gin, whether neat or with tonic, and was eager to see if I can make my own with different flavours with this kit. I purchased a cheap bottle of vodka from Sainsbury's and all was set. I even purchased the glass jug for the mixing, added the juniper berries plus the vodka, and left for two days. It still has a strong smell of vodka after that. I thought it would change after adding the flavourings. I chose the citrus flavours to mix in, adding the quantities as stated in the book and left for two more days. I thought I would do a test first to see what it tastes like. It is horrible. It tastes like neat vodka with a bad aftertaste. It is nothing like gin at all. I feel a bit ripped off. Do I leave it longer or what? Hmm. Oh, there's some pretty harsh reviews. Jack's told us not to buy it. It's too late, Jack. I've already bought it. And someone said that it just gives you a flavored vodka. Hmm, this is gonna be an interesting one because either people love it or people hate it. Now, I'm not actually a huge fan of vodka and I'm also not a huge fan of gin either, but I do wanna see if it changes vodka into gin. I have a feeling it's just gonna make flavored vodka, but I don't know, we'll soon find out. Also, just as a little side note, how much do I look like Kill Bill in this t-shirt? I'm channeling Uma Thurman. <laughs> And I'm here for it. Just an observation I'd made today. Okay, so this is the little kit here. The Ultimate Gin Makers Kit. What I want to do first before I use all this vodka up is I'm going to decanter a little bit just into a jar just so I can do a taste test after all of this is done to see if the vodka tastes any different when I've done whatever I'm doing to it. I think that's a good experiment. It's very scientific. And I bought very cheap vodka. I don't think it really matters. It's like paint stripper. Okay, let's open this up. I will say I like the packaging. I think the box is really nice. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of like bits and bobs in here. Some of these things, some pipettes. We've got tags, a little funnel, and all of these ingredients. So it comes with Christmas spice, orange peel, dried ginger, caco, caco, caco nibs. I think that's chocolate. Fragrant citrus, botanical base, and hibiscus and rose. And I assume these are the juniper berries. And I'm pretty sure a gin is actually distilled juniper berries. So I don't know how you can turn vodka into gin, because vodka's potatoes, isn't it? 
I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh, I'll have to make sure to tag them on Instagram. Look at that. That is couple goals right there. So we've got our instruction booklet here. Ah, oh, so it tells you a little bit more about gin. So it says juniper berries here, which is these things. The taste of gin is essentially just the taste of juniper berry combined with other botanicals to give it extra dimensions. If you take a dried juniper berry and crush it between your fingers and take in the aroma, you will be instantly reminded of your favourite gins. Juniper can be farmed, so all the berries which go in our kit have been foraged from the spiky wild juniper plant. Most juniper berries which go into your favourite gins are grown in Eastern Europe. Hmm, okay. So apparently it takes about a week to turn the vodka into gin. So I think that person who left the review before, who only waited like a couple of days, I spat there who only waited for like a couple of days. I don't think they waited long enough, and I don't think you could probably wait too long either. I think the longer the better, because it's all about... What's it called when they put stuff in kegs and leave it for fermentation? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. You will need a large jar to infuse your gin in. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the bottles and put the ingredients into there. Make sure the container you'll be refusing is clean and wash it uh, at 10 grams. Okay, so this recipe is for a 700 ml bottle and this is 350, so I need to half the recipe. Ah, oh, this is a pain in the ass. I didn't realize. So I need to add the juniper berries into these. Then I need to wait three to five days to add my botanicals to the gin. And then I need to leave for another two days. Can I not just add it all together? I'm just gonna add... No, oh, I don't know what to do. I really want to add the juniper berries and the botanicals at the same time. But if I add the botanicals at the same time as the juniper berries, then I'm gonna get a really strong flavoured gin. Is that a bad thing? I don't think that's a bad thing, you know. I think it'll be all right. I just don't want to, to fan you around, you know? I'm just gonna do it all at once. Ah, oh, this is quite interesting as well, the little booklet has like information about the history of gin and a little introduction to gin. Ah, oh, so yeah, apparently gin at its most basic level is just a neutral spirit flavored with juniper. There we go. So gin is vodka. Yeah, so it can, it can, this should work. It should, it, there's no reason why this shouldn't work at all. Right, so let's make some gin. Okay, so if I was making a larger bottle of gin, I would need to do three level scoops of this, but since I'm half in the recipe, I'll do one and a half, obviously. Juniper berries smell quite nice, actually. I wonder if you can eat these. I'm not gonna try it. Oh. Okay, so in these go. Right, I'll add the juniper berries to all of them first, and then I'll add my flavors. Okay, juniper berries added. So if you were doing this properly, you would add the juniper berries, and then you would leave your vodka for three to five days, and then you would add your botanicals. But because I don't have any patience, I'm just gonna do it all at once, and I assume I'll just have a very fragrant gin or flavored vodka, depending on how this goes. Okay, so it gives you some recipes here as well for the flavors to add. And I think I'm gonna go for a ho ho ho, because I'm a ho, um, which is obviously a Christmas flavored one. Ooh, I'm gonna go for a chocolate orange as well. And then I think I'll go for a citrus explosion, because I do like citrus. Remember, I need a half the recipe. Don't wanna go too crazy. So this is for your botanicals. So I'll do the citrus explosion first. Botanical base. So I need half a spoonful of this stuff. It smells a bit like potpourri. Fragrant citrus. Where's that one at? I can't really tell what that smells like. Right, half a spoonful of this. And then a small orange peel. They all kind of smell the same, you know. They must like activate when they get into the vodka. That's that one done. In fact, I'm gonna write on the bottle so I know which one it is. You could obviously use the tags, but I can't be asked. Just give that a good mix as well, just to make sure it's all incorporated. That's what it looks like at the minute. And it just needs to stew and turn into gin. I'll go for ho 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 on this one. So I need Christmas spice. I might have to tip a bit of vodka out with this one. I think it's a bit too full. There we go, that's a bit better. And then a small scoop of orange peel. Right. And that one's done. Okay, and for the final one, what did I say I was gonna make? Chocolate orange. Botanical base, small scoop. Orange peel, small scoop. And then the cocoa nibs. It does actually smell like chocolate, this. Okay, and that one's prepped. That was super easy and super simple, just like they said. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my little bottles of vodka to marinate for 
I'll say a week. I think a week's a good time. And then we should hopefully have some nice flavoured gin. And obviously I've got my neat vodka to compare it to. So even if I get flavoured vodka, I don't think I'll be like too upset or anything like that. I don't know, I don't really have any expectations for this if I'm honest with you. As long as it tastes nice. I don't really care. So I'll see you in a week's time. Okay, so it's time to hopefully taste some gin. And if you can see, the bottles have all turned yellow and I've smelt one of them and they smell pretty strong. So I think we'll decant these first and then we can get to the taste test. I'm just gonna use this jug. It's still got a few dried bits of paint from when I mixed all my paint together, but it's fine. If any of it comes off, it'll just add to the texture. Okay, so there's my three gins completely finished and they are very, very orange. I'm not gonna say what it looks like. And also when I was at the shops the other day, I bought some just regular old cheap gin because I thought it would be an even better experiment to taste test the vodka and taste test the gin to see what the difference is and then taste test these gins. So I think I'll have a little taste of the vodka first. I know what vodka tastes like. It's just not nice on its own. It smells like, ah, oh, it honestly smells like terps. Yep. <laughs> Vodka. Yep. No, 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 no. Tastes like burning. Now let's taste gin to see if it tastes any different. It smells the same. Just tastes like burning too. Ah, oh, they're horrible on their own. Like tequila is an alcohol that's lovely on its own. Vodka and gin is just awful. I feel like gin and vodka is just the same anyway. Okay, let's taste test. The ones that I've made have got heartburn. So first up, I'll go for the citrus explosion. It smells nice, it smells like oranges. Ah, oh, it's strong. It's so strong. I definitely taste the orange. It's nice, it's got more of a flavor to the other two. It's not as horrific. I think it would obviously be nice with like a mixer, maybe some lemonade or something. But it's not bad. It's definitely changed the flavor of it, which is good. <laughs> I'll try the chocolate orange one next. And I am a connoisseur of Terry's chocolate orange, so this better impress. Smells the same as the last one. Oh, oh. Oh, it's way more orangey than the last one. It's very orangey, actually. Actually, it's not too bad. I don't mind that. It's a very, very strong orange alcohol. Don't get any of the chocolate at all. I just get orange, but it's nice. Also, I will say I'm recording next week's video today. So if next week I'm a little bit tipsy, you know why. Okay, time for the ho 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 one, which is obviously the Christmas one. I feel a bit tipsy already. It does smell Christmassy. Mm. Did I put cinnamon in this? <sighs> if I put cinnamon in this, I can really taste it. It tastes very strong of cinnamon. It definitely does taste like Christmas. It's a very strong Christmas <sighs> drink. It's like 10 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so now that my taste test's done, how would I review this gin making kit from Sandy Lee Farm? I think I'll give it four tipsy ant faces out of five. I think it's a nice little kit. I think it's very well curated, very well presented. Do I think it turns vodka into gin? I have no idea. The jury's out. Because to me, the Tesco vodka and the Tesco gin that I bought tasted exactly the same. It just tastes like burn. But not bad. I quite liked it. I enjoyed the whole process as well. So that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts were on this little kit. And I'm sure I've got an expert watching who knows the difference between vodka and gin and can clarify a little bit more than I can. But for an amateur like me, yeah, yeah, vodka, gin, who cares? Same thing. Anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video and no doubt I will probably be a little bit drunk. Bye.